Hi, it's Karen from RT Systems, and look what I have. FT3D Programmer. Let's give you a little preview. The programmer opens to the default spreadsheet. You know this as the default. This is what your radio looked like when you first took it out of the box. But remember, you have memories, and this is not all this radio does. You have skip memories, which when you're scanning in VFO, any frequency that's included here will be skipped. You have limit memories, 1L1U, lower, upper. You set a range, and you can scan a smaller part of the band. VFOs, A and B. And remember that if it's programmed in the programmer, while you can change the value, you need to not leave it blank. Matter of fact, we won't let you leave it blank. Home channels for one-touch recall. Marine memories, you cannot change the frequencies. You can set them to skip. And you can set them in the banks if you've organized yourself into banks. Same for shortwave memories. No skip there, but you can put them in the banks if you're organizing yourself into banks. And weather memories, and this is cool because you can name them. You can turn skip on and off or set them in a P-scan group. And you can put them into a bank or multiple banks. You could have your home weather channel in bank one because that's where you keep your home channels. And you could have the one for the location where you spend the winter in bank six because that's where you keep all those frequencies because you separate them out in banks to isolate them since they're hundreds of miles apart and you can't use them both at the same time anyway. Let's go back to memories. We'll come back to this in a minute because I've got a real surprise for you. Let's look at settings, radio menu settings, as in all the programmers. Again, frequencies are not the only thing your radio does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight pages of settings, including settings for fusion repeaters for, for fusion operations, your APRS settings. These are your wires, rooms, and IDs that you want to go to. And when you work with this, there are five categories. You notice category one, category two, Keep going. I'm clicking down here at the bottom. Category 3, Category 4, Category 5. 20 apiece. That's 100 of them you can put in there. You can put your preset frequencies and other touch up other functions so the radio acts the way you want it to. One thing you need to be very aware of on the common one tab, there is a call sign. This GJ86, if you see that in the program, that's just a default. You need to change it to your call sign because the GJ86 won't get you very far on Fusion. It's not registered and you are. So be sure you change that. Then come right up here to File, Save. It prompts me for a name. Settings is a really good name. I save it. And that's the only time I have to do that. I can come in here and make other changes and File, Save. And that call sign won't change on me. I can make all the files I want with frequencies. And that call sign won't change on me. Okay, so we're going to just close this. We're finished with it now. And I'm going to put in some frequencies, file, external data, repeater book. We'll do San Antonio, Texas. That's where we were last, or that's where we were playing last. Remember, this is not a programming file. This is a return, so I can look at it and go, hmm, I spelled the name of that city right. 
this is about what I expected to be returned? Or how did I get something in Texas when I wanted something in Georgia? So it's a review sheet. But it also gives you the ability, come right down here to the bottom. I can knock out D star. I can knock out DMR. I can knock out the 920s, the 220s, the 1.2 gig, and I can leave the Fusion, the 2 meter, the 440, and the 6 meter. I can set the name to be the call sign, city, state, or repeater notes. Remember, it's going to truncate it for the radio, so you want to choose carefully. I'm going to leave it call sign. And the comment can be city, call sign, state, or repeater notes. And it's kind of neat sometimes if you're in the same state to leave it as city because then we can sort in the programmer and you can see these listed by city. And then I reach right over there and I create a file. And this, FT3D Untitled 2, this is my programming file. This is what I will do communication send data to radio with. And remember what I told you about your call sign? Still there, K0RTX. See, you don't have to worry about it. It's really cool. The other thing you can do with this, first we're going to save up this file. And then I'm going to go Settings and Show Club Activity Monitor. This is a really cool feature of this radio. I click on it and I get this table over on the right. Ten groups of five channels each. And it gives you a little scope on the radio that you can see the activity on those five channels. So if you and Harry and Jim and Fred and Bill are each on a separate frequency and you're like the master controller, you can see who's talking and when you touch on it, you're talking to that person. And of course, you all wouldn't be on different frequencies, but you might have a reason. You might have police and fire and ambulance, and you want to see which one's got activity before you tune to it or before you scan through them. And this will let you see who's got activity on the face of the radio. It's really cool. To use this, I've clicked here, and I'm going to right-click and I can edit the group name, and we'll call this Home, E-M-E-R-G-E-N-C-Y, Home Emergency, hoping we never have them. And I can click here, and I can edit channel name, and we'll call this one Fire. And this one... And... Apparently, it's four characters, so we'll keep that in mind. And this one, A, M, B. And you get the idea. I can name them. Now, with this one highlighted, I want this channel in it. Yes, I know it's an amateur frequency. This is for the point of it. Um... They have to be programmed in memory, so you would have to have put your fire and police and ambulance into the, a memory channel. We're just going to use this for the sake of the number to show you what, what it does. I right-clicked, and I go down here and add to cam group. I get the frequency and the name. And now I'm going to pick this one, and let's pick... Let's pick a six meter one. Left click to pick it, right click to get the menu, add to cam group, frequency and name. And I'm going to pick one more and we'll get it out of the 440s and we'll just let it be a simplex and add to cam group and it's right there. Now what's really neat about these, let's go down to group two. If I pick and I add to cam group, it just takes the next one available. 
But if I want the next one to be in number five, for some reason this person is special to me or this repeater is special to me as a five and I'm going to remember it and I add to cam group, it'll put it in number five. And when you call up this cam group, it'll show you one, two, and five. It, the radio is perfectly happy with that. It appears that if you highlight a group and add to cam group, it picks up the first one of the group that you highlighted. I may have to suggest that to him, but we'll look at that. Hey, that's what updates are for, right? So um, we'll do all we can to make it easy for you, make it just as easy as we can. But we wanted to get it out there so you could get your frequencies in and get to where you're listening to each other and having a good time. This radio has the digital operating modes in the operating mode, so you can set a channel for your digital use. And it has the half deviation where you need it to go along with the operating mode for some of the vices that have to have the half deviation. So those work together. There it is. We can use the USB 68 cable or we can use the SD card. And you'll have that radio up and running and be on the air in no time. Have fun. This is Karen, K0RTX.